Thank God it's Friday. Welcome to the show. I am Tokwe Mark Odige. And with me are my ladies. Hi. How are you today? <laughs> I'm doing amazing. Excellent morning, everyone. How has the week been? As a back to back to back to back. Yeah. Um, well, um, I got news yesterday that um, DSTV has started airing Mamei Jiro. Yay! On Showcase. Yay! I'm so excited. People are just sending me screenshots. I, I saw you. I saw you. I saw wow. you on DSTV. I said, oh, nice. I've been asking them oh, for this. April, quarter. Yes, I've been asking them for the schedule. Uh, but hopefully I'll get it this week so that I can make noise on social media. Yeah. It's, 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 it's not it's easy to be a filmmaker, ah, producer, yes, no, track record. Yes, the work is there. Uh, uh. <laughs> Blow your trumpet. Yes, Secondly, our sales starting today. Awesome. So yes, this weekend, everybody should come postings. and shop. Yes, come and shop. Very affordable prices. I'm posting back to back. So shop before it gets finished. Mm -hmm. and don't tell They're me I did not do something priced. good for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm at two. <laughs> I tried our um, grand, the granot kuli kuli oil, oil yesterday. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, I haven't touched the oil. aroma. Yeah, it's it's just different. The entire and, and I, for me, I eat with my nose, mm -hmm. so it, the food needs to smell good. It needs to just smell good. So how, how's business? Our business is fine. At least we are still producing. You know, we produce it fresh every time mm -hmm. and make oh, sure wow. that it's available. We're all we're in all stores. Wow. Um, yeah, in Lagos, most especially, you know, wow. everything. How's family? How's yeah, the last family, few fine. days of fasting? Okay, yeah, today is the last Friday. Of course, we stayed up all night praying. Most Muslims will stay up all night praying because we're trying to get, there's this night, they call Laila Tukadr. That Laila Tukadr, it's been said that you get a lot of favors, you get your sins forgiven and all of that. So I'm sure a lot of us were all awake. So you're going to be doing video this night? Of course, I did last night. I'm going to do this <laughs> night as well. So, and again, the good part is that I'm going to pick my kids today in school. So I'm oh, super, super excited. Oh, yeah, so every, yeah, so really looking forward to it. How are you doing? I'm doing, I'm doing much better. This, throughout this week, I've been struggling health-wise, really, oh. really struggling. I've just been showing up. I've not been in my best element, and I'm looking forward to the weekend. I'm going to Akure. Yes. So if you're in Akure, the Ondo uh, Entrepreneurship Summit. So um, mm -hmm. we're going to, so you'll see Akere will be there, Ali Baba will be there. Um, um, oh, there were two other speakers, I cannot remember their name right now, but it was, it's organized by the, gov, the special advisor to the governor on entrepreneurship, that's Sumi Smart Francis, as well as the governor Aida Tiwa, they will all be there, and I'm looking forward to it engaging entrepreneurs in Undo State because Undo has so many entrepreneurial opportunities that it, we just need them to, people should stay in their states. Mm -hmm. Everybody just feels like I must go to Lagos, Abuja or some, if you, what you can, the, the kind of money you can make in Undo State. I have cousins from Undo State that I know what they're making from cocoa, what they're making from um, even real estate in Undo State. So I'm going wow. to be engaging um, people in Undo tomorrow talking about entrepreneurship and I believe it will be a very fantastic time. I'll be having a meet and greet, but I'm looking at myself and my health and wondering if you have really want to, to do yes. this. <laughs> you but can. I, I'm really excited about I. the platform. All right, we'll take a quick break. When we return, we'll go through the front pages of the paper. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to the show. Thanks for staying with us. We're going to the front page review, starting with The Nation. Major headline, Tinubu, economy on growth path, inflation to go down. He said borrowing was higher a year ago, but today revenue is rising. In other news, police applicants for medical screening, EFCC to arraign Bob Risky for abuse of Naira. 
Aye dati wa jimo akinteri wa keke meke other submit forms that towards the gov gov governor's gubernatorial election in Ondo State. Um, troops seized 21 million liters, 210 metric tons of stolen crude. This calls get matching order on power supply. Regulators take hard stands. Rumpus in PDP over caretaker committee in state council. Lagos MOT men brutalize the nation driver and impound vans. In other news, NIMET warns Nigerians to brace up for heat stress. Binance chief stall, I mean, the Binance chief's trial has been stalled. Okay, so what's happening with NIMET? Why are we going to be brazen up for heat stress? Yeah, so um, the Nigerian Meteorological Agency has warned of likely heat stress across the country in a weather alert accompanied by a pictorial representation of the map of the country marked with five different colors. The agency indicated the degree of the heat stress. So most of the states that will be mainly affected are Kano, Gombe, Sokoto, Yobe, and about eight other states in the north were advised to take action because of the extreme danger of the harsh weather, which could lead to sunstroke. Sunstroke is a serious condition that happens when someone has been in the sun too long that causes a person to stop sweating, have a very high body temperature, and become exhausted or unconscious. So I think the, the announcement now is if you stop sweating, even when you are in the sun, then it's a danger. It means that you are on the brink of sunstroke sun wow. and i think it's important that we get hydrated yes, I, my yes, driver has a water bottle i saw with him i'm like okay interesting we yeah. all need to have a water bottle so that we're constantly rehydrating yeah. ourselves and ensure you're sweating yeah <laughs> i've been avoiding the sun anyway <laughs> yeah so our troops of operation delta safe ops opds and personnel of the nigerian navy ship nns pathfinder they said they had recovered 21 million seven hundred and eighty three thousand three hundred and ten liters of stolen crude from different locations in the niger delta in the first quarter of this year they said 210 metric tons of uh, products were stolen through a compromised oil wellhead owned by the nigerian national petroleum company limited nmpcl in river state community while 21 uh, million five hundred and seventy three thousand three hundred and ten liters were illegally siphoned from various sites across you know the oil rich region so according to the director of defense media operations major general edward buba and commander of nns pathfinder commodore desmond Igbo, they were the ones who you know made this known to the reporters yesterday they said that um 21,573,310 liters stole, stolen crude at 20 billion. Added that the troops seized 723,430 liters of illegally refined diesel, 53,300 liters of kerosene, 52,730 liters of petrol from illegal refiners in the region. And he said 25 suspected all thieves and other criminal elements were arrested in the region. 2,308 terror suspects were held during the period. No fewer than 1,241 kidnapped victims were rescued by the troops who neutralized the major suspected uh, terrorists. Then they went ahead to mention the uh, kingpins that they had caught, the head of Iswap, a head of um, Al Fogan province and Iswap, Abu Bilal Minuki, aka Abu Bakameinok, and Haruna Buderi. So this is just more like a breakdown of you know, what they have been doing, the achievements. The achievement. so they said they also neutralized yeah. alongside other 50 combatants, Kachala Dai, Kachala Idi, Kachala Kabiru, Kachala Azai, Azaralu, Kachala Balejo, Kachala Ubangida, Plenty and Kachala Adu. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, All the Kachala. <laughs> and this is more like a fight to show that they are not taking it lying down. Yeah. They are going after the terrorists, after the kingpins, after the people who are siphoning our crude. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, this is a good one for... It's a good one. I'm happy. Us, yeah. um, I'm, talk I'm taking the story about the president in a yesterday's iftar. He had um, iftar is the breaking of yeah, the breaking fast, fast. Yeah. with people that campaigned with him last year. They said the president, according to his spokesperson, spokesperson um, um, Ajuri Ngulali, said that the president reiterated the fact that Nigeria, what we, we've dealt with a lot of economic crisis, but we are on our growth path. They said the economic reforms that Nigeria took on 
brought ni the Naira to weaken to like 1,900. But right now, the Naira has strengthened to sell for below 1,300. And yet, the reforms are still in place. So it means that Nigeria is on a growth path towards um, um, economic growth and inflation is going to go down. So they are dealing with inflation right now with the fact that they've been able to reduce the rate of um, dollar being sold in Nigeria, we, are, we should expect that they would also tackle inflation. They said the result might not come suddenly, but the results will come. And you must endure more. But I assure you there's a bright light beckoning for you and your children. Nigeria will prosper and we will all reap the benefits we work we, um, we will work with determination and persistence. Said Europe and America did not get there in one day, but through persistence and hard work, and it took time. So he, he encouraged us to continue to pray for Nigeria. He encouraged us to not, this is not a play time for Nigerians. He understands Nigerians are going through a challenging time, but that we should continue to pray. They are doing the work, and over time, we'll all reap the re reward. I'm praying this in my lifetime because my parents have been praying. See. Mm. <laughs> Moving on to the nation, major headline. Ah, the, the nation. Punch. Oh, the <laughs> punch. <laughs> the punch, major headline. 12 states plan power projects. Uh, anger spreads over tariff hike. States domesticate electric, electricity act. The seek sec neck approval to float regulatory body and commercialize power supply. EFCC stops service um, of EFCC stops service of charges on Binance Chief. AR, FIRS alleges. Ghani Adams ready for Igbo host 500 million legal battle, says aid. How I gave birth on Lagos BRT. That's from a, um, a woman who gave birth in the BRT bus. Debt servicing gobs on Do Oshun, two others allocation. Manufacturers lose 1.5 trillion naira to FX crisis in six months. That's from the Manufacturers Association of Nigeria. Federal government to issue domestic dollar bonds in June. 141 terror cases, 214 kidnapping recorded in eight weeks. That's from the IG of police. Kano government charges Ganduje wife with $413,000 over $1 billion by bribery. I, I'm going to be the one taking that story. Okay, what are we taking quickly? Okay, so um, the Northern Elders Forum. Um, this is the story about the, um, the Northerners um, having issues with the light. So the Northern Elders Forum has described the over has described the over 200 percent increase in electricity tariff as reckless and without and without due regard for the well-being and welfare of the people that voted the government into power. The federal government of Nigeria, through the Niger through the Nigerian Electric Le Regulatory Commission, had during the week approved the increase of 340 percent in electricity tariff for customers under Band A classification. So they are saying that it's only the ones on Band A, that Band A people will, uh, will pay more, 225 Naira per kilowatt. And um, from the former, the former one that they are paying, they are paying 66 Naira before, and then the increment is now 225. Hey! Uh, it's now 225. Are you in Band A? But all the others... Who told you I'm not in Band A? You people have 20 hours supply. No, we don't. we don't. I don't even know my I'm band. In band A. Yeah. And he has 20 hours supply. Currently, we pay about 100,000. With this increase, we'll be paying over 300,000 naira for power on the uh, hour. Same yeah. here now. I'm not in band A or wherever they put me, <laughs> but I know I'm paying that amount yeah. where I am with yeah. the less uh, uh, time that yeah. they give to us. When we'll take a quick break oh, right wow. now. When we return, when we return, we will not talk about power because we cannot even think about it right now. We'll continue with the front page review. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Sunday, Okonkwo, aka Cross. <laughs> Are your intro without them? Wow. So there's a name that thing that's. I'm just drinking because you said I should drink. There's no particular answer. You think it's only that can be wicked? What's the answer? Sort of huge. Eh? Yeah. They claim you did, but you said it just happened. That and it's called what again? Sort of huge. Sort of huge. S U B T E R F U. So you look me finish from head to toe. You look at a person who got no way to be called hustle, hustle, hustle. <laughs> yeah. The nude wasn't like a game plan. Or... I promise you, be it was be actually a mistake. Be like, be it was sending it to someone and it just mistakenly just. Be 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 Gentlemen, Pioneer Positive Force member, dancing queen of the 80s, non-conformist, 
Afrobeat historian in her right and long-standing member of the multiple award-winning all-female show, Your View, Omoyeni, Yeni, Anikula Pokuti, aka Yay! YK Power! Ginger! Yeah, take it, take it, take it. Yeah, today, yeah, ginger, yeah, ginger, today we'll go here. Hey, hmm. I don't read you. Are you sure? Huh. Hmm. I know I'm not here to answer questions, I'm here to drink. <laughs> We're in trouble today. <laughs> ah. Wait, wait till your age. I was close now. Eh? I said 1975. He said 73. He said, I said 75. 75. I but that's why I wasn't even born till 75. Damn. So will I drink out? Eh? You go drink. Go. Take, take, take. Make I go make I help you. Rush and rush and rush and. No beer. Eh? Try. Which half? <laughs> you will make me drink. <laughs> I'll give you a hint. Uh, light in in no. Nepa, Nepa Road. Ah! <laughs> Nepa oh. Road. Nepa Road. In a <laughs> uh -uh. First of all, my brain cannot uh, memorize everything. A big black bug. A big black dog. Bug. A big black bug. Oh, sorry. A big. <laughs> <laughs> it all starts. Omo ah eh omi omo fella omi omo anikola kpokuti. It's my eldest son, it's not my eldest yeah. son. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>Thanks for staying with us. We're still reviewing the front page uh, of the papers and we are in the punch. BC, you have a story? Yes. So the scheduled arraignment of Binance Holdings Limited and two of its executives for alleged tax evasion was stalled on Thursday over a complaint that one of the executives had not do the charge sheet. Uh, counsel for the Federal Inland Revenue Service, uh, which was prosecuting the case, Moses Ide, had told the courts that the EFCC denied the court. Nadim and Jawala. Uh, Nadim was the one who escaped from custody of the National Security Advisor and is currently on the run. And he was also absent from court on Thursday. That was yesterday. So the FIRS lawyer, Ide, said the bailiff was unable to serve the charge sheet on Gambarian, who was in custody of the EFCC. And he says, I quote, My lord, we have not been able to serve a copy of the charge on the second defendant. We mobilized the court bailiff to serve the second defendant, but he was denied access to. So he went ahead to make an oral application to serve the chat sheet on Gambarian in the courtroom through his lawyer, Chukuka Ikwazo. And um, Ikwazo also went ahead to raise no objection to the application mm -hmm. in front of Justice Emeka and Witte of the Federal High Court in Abuja, who uh, finally granted it. But they had urged um, the judge to stand down the case or adjourn to give Ikwazo time to uh, study and prepare against the charges for the client's defense. So it has been adjourned, I think, to April 19 for arraignment. Um, by then, we'll see what comes out of it. Ah. Okay. So, like I told you, I was going to take the Gandudi story. Um, <clears throat> Kano government has charged him to court. Um, the charges that they re placed against him is that the past governor of um, Kano State, Abdullahi Ganduje, over the allegations of corruption to the tune of $413,000 and 1.38 billion naira bribery. Out of the case, they have 15 witnesses who have said that they, they would witness, they have witnesses against him 
Some of the case in also involved his wife, Hafsat, and his son, Umar. They said that um, there were companies such as um, La Lamash Properties Limited, Safari Textile, La Lessage General Enterprise, and the man um, Jubrila Hamad. They said the governor, the current governor, Governor Yusuf, on absorption of office, has accused the former governor of m a lot of multiple misappropriation of public funds, allocating some plots of land for himself and his family at good locations, mm. and that sometime in between the period of um, January 2016. They, they said the governor received the sum of $200,000 as benefit for himself personally over a contract that was awarded by the state governor, the state government. They also had several other cases with specific dates of when it happened. Dishonesty and corruptly taking a kickback of $213,000 um, being generated from the people and entitled... The, it's a whole lot. I just feel that, and he's still a, this person is still a serving minister. I know that all of this is allegation. You're innocent until proven guilty. Mm -hmm. But some of the he smells the states. He smells like a rat. Yeah, you know, maybe a rat. There, there is a rat in the corner. So I, I would really love the presidency to also take a stand on this because he cannot. We can't achieve the economic growth we desire as a country if yeah. we don't. If we not seem to be officially fighting Corruption. people who have allegations against their names. Let him step back from being a minister. Let his decision take place. Let that neutral... They um, step back in this mm, country. Hey, they don't the president can make that... in our culture to mm, step exactly. back. Exactly. <laughs> not step back. The president can make a... We, we need to have some high-flying... Um, because the money that Nigeria we are, we've lost in over the past eight years, we need to find a way to bring it back over the other hand. So we need to have some scapegoats. Some heads need to roll so that mm -hmm. we will not continue the same... perpetuate the same evil right now. Moving on to Daily Sun. DHQ confirms Manok other terrorist commanders' <laughs> death. Um, which is good. BC took that story already. Federal government under fire over hike in electricity tariff. Take that story as well. Ningi Akbabio replies Falano. Says Senate not, um, Senate not him, suspended Bauchi Senator. As in Akbabio is replying Falano to say that it was the Senate that suspended um, Ningi and not him. Army chief seeks synergy in war against insecurity. Fubara vows to make um, <coughs> detractors restless. Says fake River CTC list can't stand. Deputy Senate President Barrow emerges ECOWAS speaker, which is good. Economy on road to recovery from the president. Commute has grown as fuel queues resurfaces in Lagos. I was one of those. Um, Namdi Kano appeals trial court's ruling. All right, let's talk about Namdi Kano. Yeah, about? so the detained leader of the proscribed been. indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Namdi Kano, has appealed against the decision of the Federal High Court, FHC, Abuja, dismissing his objection to his trial continuation. In a notice of appeal dated and filed March 28th through his team of lawyers led by Aloy Ejimako, he had prayed the courts of appeal, Abuja, to allow the appeal and set aside the trial court's decision. He also filed a preliminary objection seeking an order of, for some conditions to be met by the federal government before his trial at the if, um, FHC could proceed. And he alleged that the Department of State Service personnel often seized documents of his lawyers during visitation. They stopped his lawyers from taking notes if drops uh, on their consultation with his lawyers on matters pertaining to his defense, among others. And he, he also said that um, he had not been given adequate time and facilities to defend himself in accordance uh, with the Section 36 of Section 6 of the 1999 Constitution as amended. But uh, Justice Bin Tanyako had in a ruling March 19 declined to grant the objection of the detained IPOB leader. Uh, the judge who ordered accelerated hearing of trial also dismissed his application for bail. But um, uh, Kanu had appealed that and he was uh, listing the Federal uh, Republic of Nigeria as the sole respondent, saying that he needed them to allow him, you know, prepare adequately for his case. He needed the appeal to hold and everything that he has asked. And he needed is some sort of freedom, you know, from all those um, eavesdropping that they do in uh, custody. And he wanted the judge to grant all of this. But it's been denied. Mm. And um, I think they, they've not given us any way that they're going to continue. The, yes, yeah. continue yeah. the case. But for I, now, it's been denied. I want to follow up on the story of 
few queues in Lagos because it affected me yesterday. So the few queues are back in Lagos. A uh, sad challenge is the fact that we started, the queue started from Easter break. And I took the report on Monday where they were saying nobody should panic. It's just because the, of the Easter. Easter holiday that there was no, um, the depots closed over a long period of time. So I felt there will be a relief. But according to the Sun, there hasn't been any relief. The queues are longer. Personal experience by me and many, we couldn't even, like four filling stations yesterday did not have fuel. We had to stay wow. in the queue. Um, a particular, some particular areas don't even have any filling station with, with queues. They interview people, as in Sun um, reporters interview people that said they spent two hours and still couldn't get fuel. Yeah. We finished before them. The report from the um, oil marketers was that the importers of last rep um, resort do not have enough. There's actually a, we don't have enough fuel coming in. Mm. That's the thing. So this is not a, an artificial scarcity. NNPCL should work on this. The major distributors should work, make major distributors should work on it. The ministers, the minister in charge should also work on it because we cannot afford to have um, fuel crisis compounding other issues that Nigeria is already But the one we've been buying from right Dangote is not enough. No, Dangote, Dangote doesn't, doesn't have, have petrol yet. Doesn't have petrol. Diesel. So it was diesel he sold. Yes, yes. yes. They say petrol has. will come in by yeah. May. Yeah. We're looking mm -hmm. forward to that. Moving on to Vanguard, major headline. Tariff. <laughs> this tariff, I, we are going to discuss it. Don't worry. Maybe not today. Today is Friday. Let's on the lighter note. NEC disagrees <laughs> with discos over coverage areas. Fubara plotting to obtain court order to declare the, is, um, the assembly illegal. That's from Rivers APC. There's a lot of drama. I thought they had resolved it. Still in vanguard, padding allegation, Senate, not I, suspended Ningi, Akwabio replies, Falano. Federal government reopens rehabilitated third million bridge, um, insecurity, 576, 537 murder, ca murder cases in eight weeks, worrisome from Egberto Kumo. UK increases minimum wage of immigrants by 48%, um, and CBN Governor Cardoso headlines, the Vanguard Economic Summit. Okwama killing army recovers stolen weapon. Interest rates. PFA's hike investment in corporate bonds by 38%. All right. So, please, what is our IGP telling us concerning the yeah, level so of the crime? Inspector General of Police, um, IGP Kayode Ebetokun, said yesterday that police had in least last eight week, uh, eight weeks recorded 537 murder cases. He said the trend is worrying and uh, the police has also recorded 141 cases of terrorism and secessionist attacks, 26 cases of armed robbery. 214 cases of kidnapping and 39 cases of unlawful possession of firearms. He spoke at the strategic meeting with zonal AIGs and state command police commissioners at force headquarters. And he disclosed as well that nine suspects were directly involved in the killing of six police officers in the forest of Ohoro in Ugeli, local government area of Delta State has been apprehended and they are currently assisting in you know, unraveling the circumstances surrounding the unfortunate incident. He also said um, during the period under review, the Nigerian police force arrested 3,685 suspects for their participation in various crimes, while the police rescued 401 kidnapped victims. The police recovered 216 firearms, 3,601 ammunitions and 82 vehicles. Then he talks about the fact that um, we need to help our police. Uh, some of them put their lives on the line to discharge their duties and then we see how they are murdered and killed just anyhow. This has got to stop. And the fight against um, uh, kidnapping, crimes, murder is also in full gear. And this, this is a good one for what the police is achieving so far. So... So the Ni Nigerians migrating to that's what we can tell you. Nigerians yes, migrating to the UK are happier now because yes, there's because been a, there has been an increase yes. in the minimum wage of yes. immigrants by forty eight percent. Yes, and yeah. that's to yes. so it benefits um, immigrants, but it's um, it also ben more. It more is not selfish because they want you. They don't yeah, want citizens. you to have to feel like citizens will not will be losing jobs because you can now get cheap labor from immigrants. So by increasing the immigrants. Um, the minimum wage. minimum wage for them, you are almost Absolutely. forced to employ a British citizen as well. Yeah. Everything has to be calculated. Economy is not by chance. I'm it telling is, you. Yes. So everybody's strategy. For how yes. to, yeah. That's what we can take on front page review for today. When we return, we have a sponsored segment. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back.
doubt and fear doesn't occur at the canvas, it shows in the canvas. It shows the conation of raw earthen material slapped, stroked and molded at a pace provided by the doubt and fear. Every move way in the struggle of one to the other, merging the past to the present, brush strokes of colors seen but not known. For when the wailing stops, the pieces settle down in abject beauty erected for a century of a century. Speaking, advocating, protesting as the arts are meant to be. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome the Grand Comedian of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Benga the Inca, the first! Woo! OJ right here, 7 of 7, like you already know. Benga right here, 7 of 7, like I'm beginning to know. <laughs> mm. Mm. It's now time for the question. You don't scare me one bit. Bata bata, I got drink. So. Okay. so, now one chance for time. My, My first, first question. question. Do you remember the names of the winners of that edition of StarQuest? Of course I do. Why uh, do you? And I, and, I, and, I, and I hate myself for this. Because I have this question for you. Final question. No. Where, where outside Nigeria and what year? I think you're the only one that can be wicked. I am thinking because I know back in the day. Don't think, oh, don't think. Answer my question quick, quick. You are thinking too much. I don't like it. The UK. Final answer. <laughs> okay. I said, God, God, please. Let me to perform outside Nigeria. Wait, 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 wait. And wait, wait, God wait. gave me a trip, a show in Ghana. <laughs> Drink, my friend, drink, 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 drink. I know. I don't, I don't overthink this thing. See where I can yes, you think. overthink him. I would say you should catch one. Uh, let's catch one. <laughs> Where are we? No, that's not catch one. That's, that's good. That's, that's, that's good. Okay. <laughs>
Hmm. So, have you ever wondered what happens behind the curtains of a man's mind? Or perhaps you're one of those who wonder what men talk about when they gather. Well, here goes. Imagine what it takes to put together the perfect cocktail. Or maybe mocktail. We need a bit of sports, a sprinkling of current affairs, some very deep topical issues, and last but not the least, a healthy dose of grumbling of those we love to hate. And yes, you guessed it, women. So if you catch the drift, then you're onto something. We will provide you with the right. Joining us now to tell us more about Davidola fans and what he has to offer is the CEO of Davidola Nigeria Limited and founder of Davidola, um, Davidola Farms. He's a United Nations Peace Ambassador, Ambassador Shegun Alabi. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Good morning. I've not had the, the pineapple man. Yes, I've not had the pleasure of meeting you, but <laughs> I've watched and I've heard that you are like what Mrs. just said, the pineapple man. Yes, that's, <laughs> but that's Can you just give us an idea of what Davidola does? Okay, uh, Davidola is a farm, it's a pineapple farm management and developer. We specialize in pineapple. Integrity is our currency, and if you are part of us, we value you. So what we do basically is all about pineapple, and that's what we do for a living. We are farmer. We are proud to be a farmer. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so I, I, you know, I've been interested in this pineapple farm for a bit. And there was a time I heard um, on the news that if, if a, a, a farm owner was complaining that something happened around the farm, I was scared only for me to find that it was not your farm. <laughs> so um, tell us about um, the safety of, you know, doing business in your farm, we're getting the plot of land for the pineapple, especially where we have um, a lot of issues happening, land grabbing, uh, terrorists moving around, getting into farms and all of that. Do you have any of those issues? Okay, uh, we do not have any of those challenges. Uh, why? Because uh, Ogun State, I think Ogun State is one of the safest places in Nigeria now. And we've been in this particular place, that is Agoiwe, where our pineapple farm estate is situated. And we've never had any cause of uh, any uh, issue with Omunile or land grabber. Any issue that can cause any conflict, we've never had any of such. And then when it's come to pineapple, like I've always said, pineapple is a product that cow cannot eat. So you have 100% assurance that where I am putting my money, it is safe, and even with that, we also ensure our farm. I was coming from farm two days ago, and once somebody said, ah, look at this pine pineapple farm along the road. Mm -hmm. uh, it was being burned by fire, but the pineapple is already coming out again. That is how strong pineapple is. If, mm -hmm. if fire enters your cocoa farm, that is the end of that cocoa. Wow. That is, I call it end of discussion. But in pineapple, it will spring up again as soon as it touches the water. Mm. Well, you, I feel bad that you didn't get to tell us why you chose pineapple because some people have never watched your interview. They don't know why you chose pineapple, so please. Okay, thank you. Uh, let me use this opportunity to tell us this story. 2018, we were, we were supplying pineapple to companies. And because of scarcity of pineapple in Nigeria, we went to <coughs> neighboring country to go and bring in pineapple. As the pineapple was coming from Kotonu that day, uh, the then president, that president, Muhammadu Buhari, gave an order that all the landed borders should be closed. Mm. A pineapple worth five million naira was destroyed mm. at the border. And that day I said something. I said, we have good land in Nigeria. The pineapple we produce in Nigeria is even better than the one from Kotonou. Mm. When, it's, when it's time of juice, our pineapple do better. And I make up my mind that I said, see, I'm going to make Nigeria an exporter of pineapple. And that is why we are here. And it's a good business that gives us assurance of 100% return. Mm. Ramatsu, you have okay, a... Okay, so how can people benefit from the agricultural business, the, from the pineapple business they are doing? Now, what we do, because of high demand of pineapple fruit, 
uh, we give opportunity to people to own a pineapple farm in our estate. Currently, we are selling for 2 million naira per plot. September, in fact, let me give this testimony. September, we came here and we give offer to 400 people that we key in. Those who key in that September, we told them that in six months, you're not, you not going to wait for 12 months before you even get your return. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you today that those people, they've gotten their, their, their return as we promised, their rent on their farm, wow. because we give them 50% uh, of what it is supposed to get. For example, now, if you are buying for 2 million naira, you get 36% rent per annum. How much is 36% of that 2 million? That's 720,000 naira. But today, there's still offer today mm. for the first 100 people that we key in, that believe in this and say, oh, wow, let me be part of this. And what is, it? What is the offer we're giving? Before you give us okay. the offer. Let me hold the offer. Because uh -huh, I know Nima has questions. <laughs> and Nima just joined us. Offer. Please, can you give Nima a round? Uh, the, the journey to come here was not a very... Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> <laughs> I went through seven seasons. <laughs> wow. Very vast. So, I wanted to ask you, because every time you come here, we don't do the maths. Okay. How I'm calculating. Mm -hmm. is it? You know, we're just talking about my pineapple that I have not removed since now. It's five years. Uh, yeah. That was saying it takes so long. Yeah. How profitable is it with your pineapple? How do you do it? Okay. Now, when you have more demand than supply, mm -hmm. then you know that you have control over the price. September when we came here, the, the, the truck of pineapple was being sold for 500,000 naira. Today now it's 1.3 million. And I'm telling you, it will not come down. Now, we have an off-taker for the pineapple. And even what we are going in the next, in the next seven months now, our production, and it, as in the, the concentrate, will be held. Already we have buyer for the concentrates. Mm. Funny enough, two, last week, one of the, we've already had a, a foreign company who is requesting for the back of the pineapple that they want to buy it. Mm. Now, last week, a company called us, one of the major fruit companies in Europe, said they also need the back of the pineapple, that they are not just going to buy the concentrate from us. They will also buy the back. We are processing. Yes, we are going into processing. Because, you see, when you, when you produce yam or you produce pineapple and you sell it raw, mm. you are not, you are not, you are not, value addition. there's no value addition. Mm. So until you process it, because the more, the more value you add to it, the better it becomes. Mm. And when Nigeria exports cocoa to the United Nations or, 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 or Europe, you are, you, are, you are reducing our capacity mm -hmm. because the price of cocoa will always come down, go up, come down, go up, come down. But the price of chocolate will never come down. Mm. So it is better for you to add value to whatever you cocoa. are producing yep. so that you will create more employment, you will create economic of scale, and things will be better for everybody. And we are here to make Nigeria a better place. Mm. Sure. Oh, it's, so, it's interesting. Um, so if somebody is interested in jumping into this offer and does not have enough money, would like to spread their payment, mm. how can they still take advantage of the offer? Okay. For someone who says, oh, I, I love this offer and I want to be part of this, what you can, we are giving three months uh, payment plan. Mm. So you don't have to pay everything at once. Okay. So you have, if you pay 500,000 naira today, then in three months' time, you can complete your payment. And, you, and, and in fact, as a matter of fact, in the next, by 18th of, of May, we're going to do farm allocation. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. So if you are part of this today, your allocation is going to be part of what we're going to do. In. Do you have to be present for the allocation? You don't have to be present. For those people who are abroad, what we do is that after, in that day of allocation, we do video, we put their name there and send it to them. Mm -hmm. Everything will be recorded. Good. Yes, we all the document we get. So, what them. about partnerships? If somebody, okay, because you know, you were talking about the kind of soil that you know can grow pineapple during the break when we're talking. So, what kind of partnerships are you open to? If I have land now, and now just for instance, I think mm -hmm. it's viable. How can I partner with you to use it for pineapple purposes? Okay, now, uh, if somebody have a farm and say, okay, I have a land somewhere, I want you guys to come and. Um, uh, to farm on my, on, my, on my own land. Now, why we don't do that now is because of uh, delivery. Mm -hmm. Because when you are scattering your energy everywhere, let's, mm -hmm. for example, somebody has a farm in a Kourou, another person has a farm in a Kiki, mm -hmm. another one has a farm in a Lorraine, and then you have to 
manage all of those farms. You're going to scatter your energy. Mm -hmm. That's why, because for you to really enjoy economy of scale, it's better for you to have a, 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 a where, the, where we have a lot of farm, a lot of farmers. And that's why we are using that Agoy way, where we have a lot of people. Whatever you are buying there is still your own. Mm. So it's not the Vidola's own uh, 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 pineapple farm. It is your own that we are just managing it for you. So for now, we don't go to anybody's farm. Mm. So whatever you Everything want to buy, you buy with it. Yeah, so that okay, so this, is, can uh, this is interesting. I love this idea. So how secure is it? Okay, like I said earlier, uh, the security where we are where we are right now is 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 top notch. And apart from that, uh, one of the most risk in, in, in farming uh, is is cow. And then, like I said, for our farm for the, for the pineapple, I mean, cow doesn't eat it. And even with that, all our farms are insured mm -hmm. with a good insurance company in Nigeria. So I, I wanted to you know ask about the insurance in case there's any unforeseen. A circumstance um, how do people know that they can get either their money back or their farm is in good okay place? now whatever people whatever you are buying is you are the owner okay. that we are managing it mm -hmm. now the insurance cover from point of clearing the farm to whatever happened to that farm at that particular stage mm -hmm. insurance cover all of those things but as a matter of fact even the company we are we we've been dealing with for past six years now we've never laid any claim because we have the right people in the right place who are doing the right thing at the right time because if, if anything goes wrong the insurance company will only give you money to start all over again mm. not to be sharing money mm, that's that true means. okay so um, you well, i have one question you know um now that there's hunger in the land everybody just want to eat rice yam beans how does farming a pineapple reduce hunger okay thank you now, when you have capacity to expand, you are going to employ more people. Mm -hmm. So people you are employing, you are giving them salary. The money they are getting, they are using it to get food. Because the hunger in the land now, majority of the hunger in the land now, is as a result of, of unavailability of cars. If you get to the market now, you still see food to buy. Mm -hmm. But people don't, the disposable income, the money people have at hand, cannot buy what is in the market. And then we, 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 we make sure that People who are working with us, they are, they are doing fine. <laughs> they are really, 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 really well doing paid. Yeah, they are well, well paid. Um, <laughs> final question is, what documents do people get when they um, make a purchase into this land? Okay, when you make a purchase in, uh, 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 on this land, now you get your legal document, which comprises of farm management agreement, uh, uh, perimeter survey, which is register survey. And before the end of this year, with the way we are working on, the CFO of the old land will be available. We want to do global CFO so that everybody can... Is there a timeline for this thing? Like, is, there, is it like the is there a cycle? No, a cycle for the pineapple itself. Like, okay, when I buy this thing, is it forever I'm going to be earning from... For, okay, if you buy now, our, our management is the first five years. Okay. In that five years, you get 36% of your... Of your purchase, yes. You get it every year, not okay. cumulative. Okay. You get it every, for instance, today is 5th of April, mm. but next year, 5th of April, you get your, 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 your return. But for the documentation, it's 250,000 Naira. Extra. It's different from the purchase price. Okay. But your 36% is being calculated on the purchase price. Oh, okay. And you are the owner of your farm. In five years' time, if you want to sell, you're going to sell at the prevailing market price okay. at that time. Okay. If you or continue, or you want us to continue managing it for you, we continue managing it for you. And the sweet part of it is now that the, 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 the value is 2 million error, maybe in five years' time, it's 6 million error. Your 36% is going to be calculated on the 6 million error. Who do we sell to? Do we sell to you? We are the first person to buy. We, we, we are ready no, to will buy. Will you buy at that time? Of, of course. I'm sure that's put inside of that Of course. Contract. Thank you. Right. Shall so, I still give? I'm not give the offer. People are waiting. Oh, no. oh. <laughs> give the offer. Yeah, give the offer. Give offer. I give yeah, offer. Give us okay. Offer. Now for the first hundred people, mm -hmm. there's going to key in okay. and say, "Now I'm number one, number two, number three. Instead of you paying two million naira, mm -hmm. we are giving you to key to pay. Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> Seven hundred fifty thousand. So we are giving two hundred fifty thousand naira away. 
I mean, one 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 point seven fifty. I was one point seven fifty. So we are giving you two hundred fifty thousand naira oh, wow. discount. discount. Okay. Yes. And, and and one more thing, you know, I talked about the concentrate. For that concentrate now, the 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 the, the company want to buy from us. They are ready. In fact, what we what they are requesting from, we cannot even meet up within the, in the last, in the next five years. We can't meet up. So we are also open for anybody who wants to be part of this concentrate. Mm -hmm. So if you, want, if you are highly and very, very interested in the concentrate business, mm -hmm. then when you, you have to send a, uh, a, a request to this number, 081-164-6432. Uh, and just right say, on the screen, people can take a picture of the number so you have it. Yes, so you can just say, uh, I'm also interested in the concentrate. Then we tell you. Uh, yes, I'll be about it. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you so much. We've been speaking with Ambassador Shegun Alabi, who is the CEO and founder of David Ola Farms, and we popularly call him the Pineapple Man. Thank you so much for spending Thank you. some part of your Friday with us. Thank you. We'll take a quick break now. When we return, we'll go through into our hot topic for today. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. See yourself in our streams. You, the soft life queen driven by ambition. You, the resilient man making Odogu moves. Here, we stream for you. Every swipe is not just an archive of shows. It's a reflection of our realities. So when you hit that play button, find the stories that breathe and speak to you. The new Showmax is here. The land of streams. Showmax, streaming for Africa. Helping your wife is a choice. It's the sunnah of the Prophet If you do that, definitely you're going to get it. You need to start with being medically fit, especially if you have a health condition. I lock up myself in a restroom and I guard myself with a bottle of a drink. Who's gonna know I did that? Nobody. But then I don't do that. Engage yourself in charity, it cleanses the soul. What do you think about our nan bread and chicken kebab? Beautiful. To clear your eyes, a way you need to have the break time. A Here's what a good hair day looks like and feels like with the new Lush Hair Care range made with a cocktail of nature's finest oils with hibiscus oil for hair growth, rooibos oil to eliminate frizz, amla oil to prevent hair breakage, to give your hair life and bounce. So go ahead and be confident, stunning, flawless, beautiful. You deserved a soft life. So does your hair. Lush hair. Be beautiful. Doubt and fear doesn't occur at the canvas. It shows in the canvas. It shows the conation of raw ether material slapped, stroked and molded at a pace provided by the doubt and fear. Every move weigh in the struggle of one to the other, merging the past to the present, brush strokes of colors seen but not known. For when the wailing stops, the pieces settle down in abject beauty erected for a century of a century. Speaking, advocating, protesting as the arts are meant to be. The time has come to experience the power of faith, music, and praise. Yeah. This is the Max Urban Gospel Chart Show. Chart Show. Every Sunday from 10 a.m., tune in to Cast.
Welcome back and thanks for staying with us. The hottest topic on the social media space right now is the arrest of Bob Risky. The fact that he's been arrested for, um, hmm, how will I put it? He's been arraigned for holding, um, mutilating six counts charge against the transgender, um, or is it trans, transversite crossdresser? You know that it's very confusing. Shims. Plenty, plenty. His name is Idris Okunaye. He's popularly called Bob, uh, Bob Risky. And the EFCC earlier on the week confirmed the arrest of Bob Risky over the abuse of the Naira, spraying of the notes, um, currency mutilation. The crossdresser was arrested in at Pinnock Estates, Lagos, and is currently being detained at the Lagos State Command of Anti Corruption Agency. In this development, EFCC stated that Bob Risky will be arraigned today on this um, six count charge and he will be facing Justice Abimbola Awoguru. Wow. of the Federal High Court Lagos. So we're going to be discussing this. I want to hear your thoughts on this. Um, Bob Risky is one, if, but he goes viral for the fact that he knows how to spray money. He sprays in bundles, the way, the way he talks, <laughs> that he sprays in bundles. And um, my worry is, this is following the risk, um, just a few weeks, last week where we were just discussing the fact that he's been trending over him winning a female um, dress competition and the fact that he's being backed by powerful men in Nigeria. So is this is sort of like looking like it. So is he not being backed? Where are the powerful men around? What are they trying to do? They're trying to let us know that they are really ready for him. Will we be seeing a prosecution? Nima, let me start with you. What can, what's the worst case? Even if they, want to, if they convict him, is it, not, is it going to be a fine? Hmm. No, so I think for that, there's a fine of 50,000 for Mr. Hey, Jesus. The fine or six months or less. I'm, I'm, I'm going to confirm the consequence for that. I think it's a 50,000 naira fine. I thought it was even going six to be... months. For, it's for if it's for the spraying of naira. But let me read the charges. You were reading them just now. Yes. You know that I have not checked all these things. Mutilation. I just came. Mutilation. So, they said about 50 uh, but million. No, they said 50, about 50,000. Uh, 53 million um, naira in his account. They don't, they don't know who deposited oh. that, that amount of money into his account. Ah. And there are so many... Um, okay, all, aside from the mutilation of the Naira, there are several other, other charge, um, charges, charges against yes, him. Yes. So he's been arraigned. There was a picture of, you know, the, this name and shame thing. There was a picture of him. His um, mugshot. Was it a mugshot? He, he was holding the EFCC hey, placard. Nah, nah. It's not... It's not, um, it's not I, don't, I don't want to smile. Should it. I go ahead and take the uh, charges the here? Yes. Yeah. 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 So the first count alleged that Bob Risky tampered with the sum of 400,000 naira mm. by spraying it while dancing at a social event. Mm. IMAX, Seco, yeah. That's what the, um, the count two uh, alleges that between July and August 2023 at Ajat Junction, Ikorudu, Bob Risky tampered with 50,000 naira by spraying it at a social event. That's the second one counts three. He was being accused of spraying and tampering with another sum of 20,000 naira while dancing uh, at an event hall in Ikeja. Counts four, uh, spraying and tampering with another 20,000 naira while dancing at Uniru, Victoria Island. And counts five uh, said trading as Bob Express between September 1, 2021 and April 4, 2024 in Lagos with failure to submit a declaration of the company's activities to the Special Control Unit against money laundering, 127.7 million was deposited into the company's EcoBank account during this period. Count 6 accuses Bob Risky of failing to declare the company's activities during the same period when another 53 million was deposited into the company's accounts, thereby violating the money laundry prevention act. Mm -hmm. So it has moved so from just spraying... So now, uh, money even laundry. All the, cases, all the charges, all, one to yeah. six of it. Mm. We'll you know, I'm not a Bob Risky fan. Oh, exactly. I'm certainly not. I have nothing, the, no love lost for him. But the counts that we are counting, every Saturday, millions every, of Nigerians are fact, money. If somebody's mother should die, mm. father should die, you will see these activities happening. Money. Even bad days. Why are we making a scapegoat of him? Why have we not had precedents? Aside from celebrities, you remember in mm. COVID time when Kuka Akilele yeah. was picked, then one other lady was picked for spraying money. They usually pick the celebrities. Now it's Bob Risky turn. Before we turn to Yan Pepe Scatter Scatter, and everybody are not safe again, we should speak out. You know? We go to Politicians certain parties and we see the way people distress. Well. Even in churches now, yeah. Yahoo boys gather one church in, uh, in, in uh, Benin. 
and was praying insultingly to the altar. We saw the videos. Everybody talked and kept quiet. They did not pick them for the yahoo. Neither did they pick them. This uh, money laundry act did not pick them for the source. We didn't hear a no, but money, the money laundry is different from the, the money no, laundry. Part of the part they join. They join. Yeah. I say one to six. I don't think they join them. Separate. Everything join. Mm -hmm. they join. Have, you boys? New, have you seen that new technology of how you spray money? They call it spray gun. Mm. You just be pressing yes, it and then money will just go out. Then you say that is more touch. Uh -huh. But, but the fact is that the money fly up and land on the ground. That's step on it. Exactly. That's the fact. It's just a So all the early, sorry, all the elements of the crime, tick, 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 and wipe away a certain class of Nigerians. Yes. <laughs> but we chose Bobby Skisha because we don't like him. So I, I, I don't understand where you did this one. Which one is that we don't like him? Too. <laughs> Well, Can I go? I okay. think Bobriski is just a scape scapegoat. I think for a very long time they have been looking for how to get to him. Mm -hmm. So they are trying to use this as an I just that's what I think. That's my opinion. So they are trying to use this as an excuse to get to him and all. I'm mm -hmm. not a fan of Bobriski. We don't condone such I don't even know his gender. I don't he's, know where he's, he belongs. He's, he's, <laughs> Whether they were talking, I said, when one. he's filling a form, what gender does he put? What's on his put? passport? Yes, is he female or male or you are, I do, I do even. Or order. Confused. And the funny thing, oh, yeah. he dresses so well. Put well for Nigerian Nigerian one. Yeah. He dresses Nigeria better than a lot of women. He dresses so well. He looks so good all the time. And, and I'm like, ah, this kind of man, <laughs> even, he's even he dresses better than women and all. So let's see how far, how far they are going to go with yeah, this case. I, like so I think that um, the way Nigerians have been talking about the fact that somebody strong is definitely behind this guy. Yeah, mm -hmm. That's why we're saying. And the Nigerian officials now want to make like a form of statement that uh, don't stop roping us with this guy. We are not backing him. Okay, let's show you small. But to the extent they will show is what I don't know. Mm. Because, of course, the guy really has people backing him. Has he has connection. He has clout. He has everything. Mm. And they know themselves, right? So I want to see how this plays out. And I, I, um, I also agree with uh, Nima in the sense that he's not the first person to spray money. People spray money everywhere. It's even right? 20, 20, but you know, like, like when, the devil, when the devil is calling your name, you dance publicly. Uh, you dance naked into the, the street. The dog that wants to I'm telling you, will not hear, you, the, whistle. Will not hear the whistle mm -hmm. of the owner. That is exactly what has just happened. Because it's something that is done every day. And I would like that. If we want to start setting examples, we should make it go around. It should not be All for a classes. select few. It's already a law. Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. It's already a law. It's been a law since. But Nigerians have been flouting this law. Just do small party. Our Everybody's is spraying. Against that spray money. Just do small thing. Everybody is spraying money. Just do small. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. Yeah, let me dance for you. Inside Palo. Everybody's spraying money. So now let us know that it is a law. It's a crime. You're not permitted to do it. And let us advise ourselves. But if we're going to be setting examples, let's make it go round. Mm -hmm. They have people who have posted on social media of spraying this thing and nobody came after them. Mm -hmm. Now, it seems like because we want to make a statement that we are not behind this guy, we want to use him to, yeah. as a scapegoat. Exactly. Uh -huh. it, it still doesn't mean you're not behind him. You just want to tell us to shut up. That's how I see it. Is, let, me add, let me add to it. So the six you counted, they said, Six count charges, which includes money laundry, mm. tax evasion, mm -hmm. and abuse of Naira. So I agree, he abused Naira. Mm. No be only in the abuser. He laundered money. No be only in the laundered money. They plenty. Those boys that were in that Bini video, yeah. as case in question. Then tax evasion. Uh -uh. Yabodo did not go to, she did not stay in the police custody. Ah, she paid so. That tax evasion issue she had yeah. that became popular, she did live video self. So we were talking so, back at government, talking to them, calling the governor. Nothing so, happened. So, so oh. Nima, the truth is, we, if we continue to give this kind of reply, mm. we will not try any case because there would always be somebody that got away with it. There will be that person. If we, that's, that's what a lot of poly, um, people used to say. Now my townsperson will be the first person mm. to steal. Mm. Maybe today they, they steal. Now how come they are now calling out my own townsperson? Yeah, so correct. I feel that it's important that we might not know when it will be the right time to execute mm -hmm. this judgment, but we should just still execute the judgment. So my worry is, are we doing a media trial? Is this for social media? Mm. Because we've seen the picture, we've seen the details. It's, it was on um, yes, it's a Twitter handle. It was on Instagram. Uh, this is it, it's coming across like I want to let let social media see. Mm, 
that we're that doing we are doing something. Yeah, we don't want media. But Brisky has the influencer for mm -hmm. EFCC. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, you are correct. But there's also this ah, part. Let me take this call. Please, please. And I'll come back to you. Please. Good morning. Welcome to the show. Ogbuntola. Are you still there? Can you hear us? You're live. Oh, sadly. Nima, please, give so us that So there's point. also this trend this, that happened this oh, one week or two weeks thereabout, where these influencers are behind each other. So um, what was his name? One dark guy was arrested the other <laughs> day. Very dark man. They say it was Bob Risky and Tonto DK. That released him. That got him arrested. Oh. Yeah. They said they were the ones that brought all the charges. So those ones too were doing video. Uh, Bob Risky had threatened one person that I, I will let you know that I control the government. Mm. Now, he is also being arrested and that one too is doing video and, you know, back and forth. What I would hate to find out, because if there's a true uh, substantive case against either of these parties i want to see that the police separate themselves from this their influencer business mm. and bragging online and prosecute it to the end exactly we don't want seriously to enough yes. to deter anybody from thinking that crime is possible mm -hmm. but if we have police now joining their influencing game back and forth the way some important people are putting their faces on it that is shocking me ah it will be it will really pain me because there itself is the disservice so, Bobriski is who he is. He doesn't represent a Nigerian value. There's no law that covers what he is, he is now. Which that is the right case. That to is take the right on. case. We don't even have law, according to the PPRO of the police, against the personality he's projecting now, which can affect the new generation we are raising. Mm. That one is on one side. Don't have a name for the then we have uh, the dark man something something who comes out as somebody that is an activist but has a past that he also promotes that. Our children should not even hear about. They don't stand for the right values that our society should be projecting. And these people are now the influencers. They come outside, they talk about and all they are trending. Things. They train, they have the numbers, they hear all these things all the but time. There's, there's and then when we take no, if there's a crime the society then, chooses, chooses No, if there's a crime that somebody's right. admitting to on a live video, that's enough evidence. Oh. So now you leave those things. You You're take them in, you give them the clout. Spray. You have all the blogs, the uh, pages, the Instagram influencers, big, mm. big pages, saying I stand for this, I don't stand for that. Carrying the children and the youth with their noise. Their noise. Then we will join as the rough. police that the people our taxes go to and join them. And then we come out and we release them. We give them the, no, we cannot be involved in that muddy play. Well, messy. Very messy. Yeah. Let me take Abdul Rashid who's called into the show. Welcome to the show. Good morning. Hello, good morning, Pope and other ladies of your view. Dr. Abdul Rashid, well, welcome. Yes, thank you so much. I just want to contribute to the topic at stake. I think um, what Nima said, I'm a little bit disappointed, you know, that because I believe in one thing change begins with you. It doesn't matter when. We shouldn't be questioning what it is. Bob Risky or not Bob Risky. I don't think that is the crux of the matter. And Nima is even a lawyer. I believe we should just head, uh, you know, tackle this problem headlong. It doesn't matter if um, there's been a precedent or something. What matters is, they say whenever a man wakes up, that is his morning. Now the government is doing the right thing. They've taken this uh, right step and heading for the right direction. And what we are saying is, oh, Somebody up his God or something. I mean, no, no. This is just so unpalatable. I don't expect it from you, Numa. I have to... You know, she, Abdul Rashid, work on sentiments. Clearly, I don't support Bob Risky. And I said, Topo is correct. We can start any time our day break. But I'm saying, the, the um, bra uh, bracket is wider. It shouldn't be the only one. There, should be, there are many people whose videos are there as evidence there. who should be all, all in, in, in custody with him right now who are also filling their statements. And they should be made public. I'm not saying the police agency have done anything wrong. My fear is they are joining in these influencers' battles of superiority and that would be more dirty, much more dirtier than anything. So Bob Risky for me is not a special candidate. I'm just saying there are many, many people. Right now, up east, and everywhere doing their parties and spraying money so insultingly that we should be doing, dealing with as well. That's all. I'm not... Um, so, I'm you, totally you, you know, it. there's something that you mentioned that um, we, when, when we discuss celebrities and the impact of influencers, and what, you know the word is influencers. Mm -hmm. Influencers meaning that 
what they do becomes your culture. Mm -hmm. The government has a responsibility to ensure that we quiet the voice of what we don't want mm -hmm. to be promoted in our society. But you, you said there are allegations of the fact that some individuals took um, another person to prison. But when we cannot substantiate it, it might just be that there's another case. I took a story in the paper a few days ago where a, um, a man, Sunday, his name is Sunday Mafe, took the people that arrested him to court, took the police to court for arresting him. So he said that the police arrested him and they did not have a reason to arrest him. They arrested him based on the petition of someone and detained him over a period of time. And he was being awarded 25 million naira yes. as yes. damages for that particular thing. So is it that influencers should start, or people should start taking, if, you, if, I'm, if somebody wrote a petition and then I'm being detained or I'm being arrested, should, I, should the influencer then take it to court to say, based on what petition did you decide to detain me? Did you have a right to detain me? Is it possible that based on the way they detained um, Bobriski, we might have a case where Bobriski too will take the police the EFCC to call to say they did this this what they are I'm being I am being um, witch hunted mm -hmm. for my person unjustly because there are many other there are the videos too many videos of other, other celebrities online even spraying even more money than that it won't get, it, it, it won't get away with so you. If, it is if the fact the charges against him are substantial if they are substantiated that's it but if he is available and then they refuse to bail him within 48 hours they keep him his fundamental rights is being abused and he has a right to bring an, an enforcement order for that and the, once it's given he can then get damages for, wow. for the number of years it was already. Let me take Francis from Akwaibo and then I'll come to Ramatu. Francis, welcome to the show. Good morning. Thank you very much. I'm a first caller. Welcome first to caller. the show. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, my sister uh, sitting close to Nima, she said, I don't even know his gender. <laughs> let, me tell, let me tell her that she is a man. She so she is a man, so that you will know the gender of Babriski. She is a man. Oh you understand that? That's for that. Uh, Nima, there is something you, like the last caller said. You are a lawyer. You don't sound who and who has entered. You have it. There is what is called in the Constitution the, the, our rights as citizens. If you know who has done, Please, forward the information to the authorities. Instead of staying on national TV to say, uh, let it not be that the police are going inside, let it not be that they are doing this. It's wrong to say because even as I'm listening to you, it's making me feel like any day they arrest anybody I know, I will say, ah, did you not hear what Nima said? Let it not be. Let, let us not start using you who is a lawyer of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. That is that. That is on that side. Please, if I, I, I just wish you, you, you refrain from even talking about whether it is or it is not. That is on that. For what? the person in question, okay. for the person in question that they are talking about, please, I don't even, like Nima said, there is no law covering. There is no law, but I don't know why we should even be talking about this person. Mm. This person should not even be talked about because mm. he's not giving us any more. What are we learning? Please. Let's not even, don't even discuss him. Don't even discuss him because she is. Thank you so much, Francis. Um, so, um, you know, when you, when you say something in court, you want it to strike out. Mm -hmm. Imao, do you want to move to strike out that statement? No, I'm not withdrawing. Yeah, 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 not withdrawing so, it's an statement. opinion I share. Yeah. Lawyers are going to defend Bob Risky. Uh, so, Abio. All the people calling me, their opinions. I, 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 your, yeah. I want so, to hear from you. Know, yeah, some people are on social media and saying that, ah, if only Bob Risky was trying this thing in the North. Uh, they, they, no. they would have done their justice. If, justice would have been served without plenty of stories. In that fact, in South, we just take anything. In fact, Please. on Twitter, somebody wrote that ah, in Diana, not that Mishishagen Duka, mm -hmm. like if it was, let's say he was in the North, that they will flog him like this, eh? Because of this transgender thing that he's even doing. Mm -hmm. It's not even welcome. It's not even allowed. You, it's not as if these things are not common in the North, but you can't come out and openly, openly and display mm -hmm. it and all. Mm -hmm. You understand? Because mm -hmm. people, my people are quite. A little bit of like, ah, why are you like this? Why are you behaving like this? You know, we have a culture, religion to protect and all. So it's very difficult for them to, mm. for that kind of a thing to happen in the north. You know, so I, I honestly, I feel like we've, come, we're, we've finished this conversation. One, one of the key things yes. we've, um, if you want to take social media comments, please mm -hmm. uh, prepare them. On Twitter, uh, on X. 
Emmanuel says, in the face of all the trending video leaks that the journalist has posted online, the EFCC has not found probable cause to even look into the matter, but waiting for a petition. You are one of the many walking around um, our streets, and they have a good head on their shoulders. Um, Prince Adiola says, the EFCC clearly stated that they received a petition against Bob Risky concerning the abuse of Naira, which came with a very recent video. The other people you mentioned were not reported, and it faded away with time. Let's do their, let's do the, the right. let them do their jobs, I'm sure. Don't put sentiment because he is people's favorite. He's not my favorite, cannot be. So <laughs> may I say okay. something, please? Um, I think um, how I know that it's been done is when you get, uh, when you are reported to probably the police, there's an investigation that is supposed to be launched to certify if you're actually guilty of the crime. You can be called in to answer some questions. But once you get to the level where you are detained, and at the end of the day, they find out that you are not guilty yeah. of what you were accused of, mm -hmm. and you have been detained, you have slept there, you have a right to sue because you have, they have infringed on your rights. They are supposed to detain you only when there's evidence Believe. that you have committed the crime. You don't call people for questioning and you leave them sleeping there for days and this happens it's yeah. part of what we experience here it happens so we must begin to say ah if you detain me unjustly and you don't find anything on me i will sue you because okay. you should have done what's your investigations your yeah, what's in your evidence before. that's one now the way they have ah, let him into this i've not spoken since so eh? i've not okay <laughs> let me just take a card score then i will come and hear you speak welcome to the show akat all the way from paul Tarkat. yeah thank you so much no, and this is Cool down your temperature. You are speaking our mind. <laughs> Nima, now you will make me make this call. And I stand and support for you because there are lawyers that are... Leave me alone, no. Yeah, this lawyer will be better. Eh, so as a lawyer, I also have opinion. I stand for you. You are speaking for us. Um, you know that when, I, when you guys started talking about this, I just was laughing too because I think this is a comedy thing. Um, I know that there are laws. And I know that there are laws that are enforceable. But I think sometimes as Nigerians, we should speak about certain laws and obey them. Because we see scenarios, I don't want to even call political figures. It's the other part of Nigeria where this thing is happening. As I should say, I'm going to have to today. And me, I know that's going to happen here. And usually in this big hybrid event, you have um, big security agents there, but they don't enforce it. Meanwhile, um, one thing that stood out in the mock shot for me is that Bobrisky was dressed as a female. And I, I begin to wonder, when you are going to take a mock shot, are you not supposed to dress as the agenda that you, you are brought in? So, I just think this is, this is just... You know, so that at means. the end of it, yeah, after yes. all the foundation so, and everything, I will, nah, you, will not, you will not want to say it. <laughs> so, what was I even saying? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I was saying that uh, we need to just do better as um, law enforcement officers, do our due di diligence. But now, the way they have roped the case, we started from, they were spraying, mm -hmm. to money laundry. So, we may have gone there for... You know, the, he was caught spraying and he's against... Spraying is actually not against. He's stepping on the notes. That's against, yes, the spraying act is not... As long as you don't step on the notes. And some people have it's, found it's, in their parties yeah, no, uh, spraying into baskets mm. or spraying into nylon bags, right? So that you don't step on it. It's, it's a stepping on that's actually the crime in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Now they have roped it in with money laundry. So even if he gets away with, okay... Let's strike out the spraying. It's not so heavy after all. Lots of people are doing it. How many people can we catch on that? And the money laundry is now where they have exactly. decided to hold him. Yeah. Now, we also have a law that does not believe in um, homosexuality and all of that. That's also a place that they can hold him if they really want to follow up the case. I would not like that they make it a social media. media. Yes. Social media has a way of messing up trials. At the end of the day, we lose the essence of what we're fighting for in the first place. The police should take it out of social media and do their due diligence at the back. Hmm. All right. Um, like I said, I think we're done with this conversation. I, I feel we've given enough airtime to Bob Brisky yeah. today. <laughs> um, but we, we know some things are facts and we know some things that are speculation. The, according to what the um, EFCC have said, the petition said that there were specific amounts that went into his account. He, should, he will have to defend what the business was for and why he did not declare that amount to 
um, the government. So I believe that can be a strong case because we don't want a media trial. We also don't want to create a culture where people get away with impunity, get away with what we see as a society as a crime. So EFCC has a very, 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 very huge platform mm -hmm. to prove themselves concerning this particular yes. Bob Risky case. And we're, we're going to be waiting to see the result of this particular case. All right, that's what we can take on this segment. We'll take a quick break. When we return, we'll move on to something else that will be more engaging and edifying one way or the other. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. What the? Today, Apple got a really expensive ride. Chill, Apple. Use InDrive and negotiate for the most fair price for you. InDrive, people driven. Hmm. So, have you ever wondered what happens behind the curtains of a man's mind? Or perhaps you're one of those who wonder what men talk about when they gather. Well, here goes. Imagine what it takes to put together the perfect cocktail. Or maybe mocktail. We need a bit of sports a sprinkling of current affairs, some very deep topical issues, and last but not the least, a healthy dose of grumbling of those we love to hate. And yes, you guessed it, women. So, if you catch the drift, then you're on to something. We will provide you with the right insights into most of your curiosities, right here within this beautiful cocktail we call the Black Table. Welcome back and thanks for staying with us. We're still on your view on TVC and we're talking about this Nollywood actress, Etinosa Idemudia. She has shared her opinion about marriage. According to her, couples share everything, including sexually <coughs> transmitted diseases. Mm -hmm. Speaking from personal experience, the movie star recalled how her estranged husband transmitted infections to her several times during their marriage. What do you think about apples? Because many women out there are going through a similar ordeal. How best can they handle it? Should they try and fix the marriage or walk away? Join the conversation by calling us on 0810764179. Or you can call us on 090-241-63440. Tweet to us. We'd like to hear from you. So I know someone personally who married as a, um, she married as a virgin. Um, she, upon marriage, found out that she, could, she was having um, PCOS, infertility, she was having slight infertility issues, and they did, they were going through the treatment, but she kept having reoccurring infection. Mm. Now, this person is actually an Ijabite. Kept having reoccurring infection over and over again, only to find out that her husband has a separate family, lied about it. Hey. So, 
she technically was a second wife. He has a separate family that the family knew. They, it was, she was lied to, and it was a serial cheat. And her medical condition got complicated. She's had to do surgery because she kept, it was back-to-back -back infection. She hey. left the marriage, but I don't think that, when I, the last time I spoke to her, I don't think she has fully recovered from the trauma. Of, the trauma. I, live, I was a good, I'm a, like, I'm a good girl. I did not do anyhow. I married, I followed the tenants. They did everything they meant to do on my head. But now, even the, she said the last appointment she had with her GP, after she did a surgery, based on all of the, like, the inflect, infections complicated are already, she had a medical it's condition, which is not a problem. Human beings have medical condition. Mm -hmm. But the infection she got from her husband complicated it. If she had married a good man that did not put her into that risk, they would have easily dealt with the PCOS, she would have had children. But now, two surgeries down the line, marriage ended and she's having to deal with it. So what would, how can we address this case of in marriage you share everything and who will take responsibilities for sharings of infections? Mm -hmm. Hey, this is a very Honestly, dangerous this case. Is very, very, uh, very, all of everybody just, I don't even know what to say, but infidelity is not even permissible in marriage. I don't know what we are doing, honestly. Mm. The way we are just uh, kind of, we are trying to legalize this, um, mm. this thing, I don't even understand and all. You, and the funny thing with infection is that in a woman, once a woman gets infected, it doesn't show like, like on a man. Immediately, when a man gets infected, he know, he know immediately. But for a woman, it will continue to time. eat her up, it will eat her up, it will eat her up. After some time, that's when it now comes out. I know. Mm -hmm. I used to have this, um, there's this, my uh, former um, friend in the north there. He got married. He's married to, he had three wives. And he was still going out, you know, I know. He went out. Got HIV, <coughs> hmm. brought it and gave his wives. And guess what? It was the second wife that died first. She was the one that got the infection first because hmm. he was he slept with her more than all the other wives. Hmm. Look at him now. He wiped up his entire family. The children now they are all there because no parents. The first wife died after. He hmm. died later. And then the children are just they are all there. Nobody to take care of them. Hmm. You see, there's love so in sharing. See, so you see this infidelity. You share the good, the bad, the ugly. Mm. So you know, I had um, a, a case. It was one of the examples they gave to us when we were growing up. That ah, you know, once you find out that your husband is cheating, don't deceive yourself. Oh, just go and buy him protection and give it to him. It was actually an elderly woman who was advising. He said that for the um, how many years in their marriage, mm. he discovered that the husband was cheating consistently, and she had to protect herself. So she went and bought a pack of condoms and dropped it. Anytime he's but traveling, he's marriage. he had a job. Uh, she would, they are still married, though. <laughs> 40 something years now. <laughs> they are still married. So she was just giving us some of the things she went through and how she survived it. She said because she, it wasn't her deal breaker to leave her husband because he was cheating. So she had to find a way to protect herself. And so she went and bought the pack. Of the whole thing. Anytime he had a job where he had to travel round states. Anytime he was going, he would put one for him. He say, or oh, two packs. Say, I've put it for you. The man will collect it. Thank you. And he will go. And he'll finish it. When he comes back, he's traveling again. She they they put... devised their own style of marriage. Exactly. And Find it what works, works for, for them. You. Now, uh, the unfortunate thing is when the cheating is happening, you may not know. You may, first of all, be in denial, like, I oh, know my husband can never, my wife can never. So you don't pay attention to the signs. You don't know. You miss out on that. If you know and you decide to stay, you must protect yourself. So it's, you are choosing between the devil and the deep blue sea. Blue, uh, blue sea. So if I'm staying, then I have to take measures to protect myself if, in case it's not a deal breaker for me. If it's a deal breaker for me, then I go. But what we have is we stay, we close our eyes, and then we collect everything that comes from it. Mm. And if this person is already cheating, things will come from it because the person who takes out his time or her time to cheat is not careful enough to protect herself. They don't care. The audacity to be, do it anyhow and believe that I'm, I'm immune. Mm -hmm. But that audacity does not extend to the other family members who are innocent. So you must open your eye as a woman to choose, okay, am I staying or am I not staying? And she raised a valid point. We share everything in marriage. <laughs> so if you're staying, you will collect. If you're not staying, you will go. She did not lie. 
Sabrina, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> Marriage, you share everything. You share spoons. You share. You know, that's why I don't understand people that say they are married and they are living in separate rooms inside the house. Where you are already sharing the most vulnerable part of you. Telling you. Yeah? Hmm. Your, your, your privacy. Don't, don't you now, change our topic. Now go and put <laughs> uh, one room and share. You share everything. And yeah. sad part. The sad reality is that when you, if, once you, some people will say we are, we are divorced, we are no longer sharing. You still share kids. Yeah. Mm. You have to co-parent. Yeah. Sometimes you have to share properties. Yes. And there are sad realities like the one she stated. Sharing infection, destroying lives. So the person you choose to marry, either make or marry you for life. Do you, do you think mm. that um, couples are aware of the medical risk? They are very uh, conscious of the medical risk. Because if, I, I don't think that somebody would willingly expose his partner to infections or her partner. Because let's not assume that it's only men that are bringing infections. Uh, women. Obviously, women too might be mm -hmm. cheating and bringing infections. <coughs> so in balancing it, I, do, I just want to believe that the partner is you're not aware of the fact that there's a medical risk attached to what mm -hmm. you're just doing. You're aware. You don't care. A cheating partner is very aware. Or you feel because you're not seeing it. You know, like you might not. It might, if it's not immediate, you know, you do one, you get away. You do two, you get away. You feel yeah, like yeah, because you don't check now. Take first, mm. do one. Mm. They just take the risk and say and oh, hope that it's the for well. Nabi. And most especially if they are drunk, like mm, we just do them sharp, sharp. Waiting. For the pleasure of it. Exactly. But how do you responsibly you carry yourself? You know, in marriage, we were raised, at least me from women's side. <laughs> Women are raised. <laughs> To carry themselves in such with such responsibility and accountability and that they don't embarrass mm. the partner. Mm. So you're at a particular function. Maybe you just want to play rough play. The way me I used to play with them, they say, I'll be there, like, ah, it's outside though. So I don't say Mr. Zibiri's wife mm. Mm. behaved such a way. So there are certain things you want to do. Somebody abuse you outside, I want to tear their eye. You say, ah, they will not say Mr. Zibiri's wife tear somebody's eye. Mm. You know, you don't want to disrepute him by association. You're such a fighter. Why I you now? Know, an example. <laughs> I just, <laughs> you know, so you don't want to go out flat to disrepute him as well, or you know, and there's, there's a saying in Africa, they say, Oh my way, they cheat, then they kill your husband. But you know, that in the saying, don't balance. Mm -hmm. A cheating man also can kill a wife yeah. because, as Ramat's example said, yeah. you can actually kill it, wipe out Bringing, an entire family, HIV, you know, HIV. The family. So, an irresponsible person is who cheats, you know, that one minute pleasure. I can just, it's more important. No, 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 anyhow, anyhow. Is the height of your responsibility. Let me take this call. Shegun from K2 has called onto the show. Welcome to the show. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning, ladies. Good morning, Good morning. sir. This topic we are discussing this morning um, something that uh, mm -hmm. big. I think the first thing for any person going into marriage is to first understand yourself first as a person. Know what you can take and what you cannot take. Be tolerant. But at the same time, know what you can take and what you cannot take. Marriage is not a do or die. Like God said, if you stay, you collect. If you leave, you collect. I think most, most young men and women going to marriage now, they are so careless. They see the signs, but they tend to overlook it, thinking that one way or the other, you can correct it. The moment you are in it, they tolerant. But if it gets to a level that you feel this is getting too much, my dear, get out of it. Thank you very much. Said if you if you stay, you collect. If you go, you collect. Um, I think that the real question is: should should the person stay or should the person go? If you've had reoccurring infection, and you are and you don't have facts, but you're suspecting that this is where it's coming from, a cheating partner, should you stay or should you go? You have to decide what's most important to you. Um, you know is. When it comes to <laughs> marriage relationships, it's not what you tell people what to do because sometimes uh, people want to hold on to the little light that they have seen, right? You know, you date a partner who takes care. I had a conversation with somebody. They said, yeah, but he takes care of the children, yeah. but he provides. He's responsible. He's not responsible. He takes care. He's of financially responsible. Uh -uh. <laughs> you, you remove responsibility. He takes care of the children. Okay. He provides for the home. But he has this major flaw that is giving me these diseases. Hey. And do I now live because of these diseases and forget the fact that this person actually takes care of the children and provides for the home? So a lot of women find themselves in that fix where they are holding on to that little good part that they see and hoping that there will be a change in the bad one, other in the other one. So when you are 
telling them to open your eyes, but this thing is killing you. They're like, eh, but he takes care. He takes care. They are holding on and trying to grasp at that little goodness that they see. And that's why a lot of uh, abusive and cheating partners take advantage of these people that are staying with them and collecting all the nonsense because they are giving you small, small. They are just pushing it, giving you small, small. And they will even tell you that if you go outside, you will not see anybody that will do this one. I will take care of you. You will like not see I'm anybody that will take Yeah, take like I'm doing. Call. It's a form Temitokwe of abuse. Temitokwe has called in from Abuja. Hello, Temitokwe. Welcome to the show. Good morning. I'm sick. Yeah, My name's sick. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, uh, this is okay. Uh, this, I'm first, uh, caller. Welcome to the show. Yeah, uh, I just want to quickly make some, uh, correction and impression here. Uh, in reference to the first question you guys had discussed about that of the Yeah, uh, Lima made some statement and uh, Francis and others uh, condemning us. I think they have subjected because uh, Nima also has the right to uh, freedom of expression and opinion. They were calling and saying that uh, you don't have the right to be a lawyer ever. A, uh, a lawyer also has the right to so freedom of expression. Uh, uh, the provision of the Constitution, the section 35 of the Constitution, gives Nima the right and decide why we should tell TVC what they would discuss. Francis is saying TVC should not discuss that and whatever. It is not okay. It's because you have a subjective mindset. If you are saying uh, your opinion is more superior to another person's opinion, it's not done anywhere. And decide, uh, Nima, you say Nima is a lawyer. And if the lawyer has the right, freedom of uh, expression, freedom of privation uh, of personal liberty, and in fact, but we still also have the right. There's no law. Ma, There's no I'm, I'm grateful I have that lawyer. Nima has a lawyer. <laughs> yes, so. Yeah, Dr. Abdul Rashid and Mr. Francis gave it to Nima, but Mr. Tokwe <laughs> has come to defend mm -hmm. Nima God that she has a right. So we have a balance. Um, I, you know, I just wanted to throw in mm -hmm. another angle of this infection because, like, I, um, over the past three weeks my i felt like i ha there's a, a wind of infection blew through our house so one of my son came in with chicken pox and it occurred to me that he, caught, he, he went through everyone apart from me my husband and my mom because we did not deal with it early enough and it was lack of consciousness um so he, my, the other siblings got it my driver got it the maid got it someone else that visited our house to cut it so when we were, Easter Sunday was supposed to be a family, we've planned it like three, three weeks ahead before all the chicken pox came that my in-laws were coming. But just that morning, it occurred to us that we have infection in the house. You can't bring in people into a place where there is infection. Are you, is it a case of, as I asked about awareness, thoughtfulness and kindness. So it, it, there are three things that should work together. So you, if you are aware that there is infection, then you'll be thoughtful enough to give feedback to that person that I, I, I'm kind to you. I will not let you come into this place because there is a risk you might get infected. And um, now it is not sexual. It is something else entirely. It could be, okay, in this house we have, uh, <coughs> some people, have people in this house are living with HIV. And so you are, o o um, you are open about it. You know, some people, don't, you, they, they never talk about it. As Nigeria, is people love HIV in this country? As a plenty rich, nobody don't talk, say he gets. Okay, they go laugh you. When I, <laughs> when COVID came, you. I was the only one that went to go and buy buckets. Mm. Hard hand wash, soap. So if you're coming upstairs, I'll, if you're even receiving, I'll be asking you from upstairs. You know, they say we should um, separate. Wash hand. Uh, you know, wash uh, Do you need to really come inside, all those things? And then I now had COVID. And then I locked my door, and then everybody wanted to check up on me, yeah, my son. And I would say, no, the, the, this house, we have COVID. Can you please stay outside? And I was abnormal. And then eventually when I got out of it, I was laughed at. Because one of my friends said, there's no COVID in Akata. Ew, see, now only you the advocate. And only <laughs> Let's you take advocate. Ogutola from Agbado. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome to the Hello. show, Mr. Ogutola. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Mr. Ogutola. I'm coming from Agbado. You're welcome to the show. Please, I want to talk about the first, your first topic that you are saying about Bobby Whiskey. Okay. Lima, 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 I support you. 
May God Almighty continue to lift you up. Ami, Ami. And may God Almighty, you be in this country, you be signed in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Because... Oh, okay, we lost him. Okay. So what of I am? Where are you? And I see any and Miriam. Is your own labor be whiskey spending money in this country? Is your only Bobby whiskey? Please, stop <coughs> no, busy. And I might, I might, my auntie, busy with auntie there. Is your only Bobby whiskey spending money in this world, spending money in this country? Sir. We could do it when he was burying his mother. But I see why he did. He showed that I'm doing it. There's a lot of people that are doing it. You, 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 don't know, let me tell you, I can, I can tell more than 20 for you for my, for my, for my Facebook or my social media. Those people are spending this money. Spending money. I can tell it to you. Why EFCC? EFCC, they are corrupt. They are corrupt organizations. They are very, very corrupt. Mr. Oguntola, you cannot come on national television mm. and call out a federal agency without the evidence. FCC to say mm. that they are corrupt evidence. based on your opinion. You see, boy, 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 what's the whiskey's mother's burial? Eh? And the bundles. They did not God give them a petition. The, why did they make a move? We are back to Bob Risky matter. We are giving Bob Risky yeah, too much airtime. So <laughs> back to the relationship that was. Eh, 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 my sister. <laughs> In East, I want to like because we we I'm from the south. I know yeah. things based on my southwest up, uh, upbringing. I want to hear your opinion on. In the north, do they hear stories like that? Can you be married to uh, four wives and? Maybe one of them is stepping out and the person is bringing things into the house. How do you deal with that situation? Uh, so, like, infidelity in the north is not... I wouldn't say it doesn't happen, but it's not really common. Amongst, if, you have, if you are going to marry up to four wives, I don't see why you should still be going out. Mm. No, yeah, but you know, one of the wives... I'm out. saying the wife, so... Yes, one of the wives The out. wife. What if the wife steps out? Yeah, um, it has not happened, but you know we... Uh, See, uh, you're living in a bubble. Ra Ramatou is in a different bubble. You are in a different bubble. Yes, we're in the Islamic wherever. Mm. You know that the penalty for adultery mm. is they stone you to... Uh, on the woman now, on the not woman. on the man. Even the man. They don't stone men. It's the same It's the same penalty. But they don't stone men. It's the same penalty. Because they don't have evidence. They have evidence. They have evidence. evidence that you have to be caught. They have evidence. Two of them are prosecuted. There is no, you can't even oh, suspect you must be caught before that can happen. In the Bible, eh? mm. it was against the law. If you are caught, you'll be stoned. Who did they stone? Now, nah, woman. Mm. Now, nah, woman, they, they always catch. They nah, caught woman, they in they the very act, act but only one person got stoned. I need to clarify. No, I did Islamic law. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you establish evidence of adultery against a man and a woman, mm. both of them, the penalty is stoned to death okay. Okay. under Islamic okay. Sharia law. Mm. Okay. Now, if the evidence that leads to the, to the prosecution. prosecution is pregnancy, it's most likely the woman. Because if the man insists, I was not the one, and she insists, it's then a word against her. That evidence fails. But for her, unmarried, divorced, single, all married, and the husband was in, on a journey and she got pregnant, mm -hmm. the evidence is strictly on her side. That's why it's so still, case, still it said one like, way. Uh, because so we, we, women we, carry the evidence. Men so don't the carry the evidence. Thank, Thank you. So. The advocacy is now that the woman's word should be enough. And you cannot, you know, when there's an element of that, you can't, it's such a grievous, you cannot just place it. I can just look at one person I don't like and say, ah, this one I'm going, we are going down. Mm. You know? And you cannot be... Fatima is calling that. out um, Ramatu. He said, Miss Ramatu, I was born and raised in the north. Please, which part of the north did you grow up? <laughs> where there is no... They don't do anything. Ah. So, I'm another not person was saying... It's not happening. It's hap it happens, you understand. But, of course, we hide it. Mm. So, we don't even know the penalty or what happens mm. to them. So, everybody... You so, you guys are more coded. That's what you're yes. telling me. About what the Adirun case says, how does one cope with a cheating well, husband learning. or a cheating wife? See, I didn't want us to turn this into cheating. Why? We're talking about the, the result of cheating, which is... That there might be infection, but I don't think you can discuss results of cheating without discussing the cheating, cheating because itself. infection. This, this is serious. Can I talk about this infection for a bit? Yeah. So um, there was a video sometime where a man was complaining. He found out that his wife was living with HIV. Hmm. He found out. Yes. She was, she was hiding, hiding the drugs. Hiding. Yes. We saw the video together. She was hiding the drugs behind the settee in the house. It's been ongoing for months. Mm. She's been taking those drugs for months. And I also think that she had tried to stop. She has stopped it's sleeping. Intimacy. Yes. So but what, though she's not honest not, enough to tell the how man. How many people are honest let's enough take to this share phone that phone. kind of 
Stop. Oba has called in from London. Welcome to the show. Good morning. Hello, good morning. Good uh, morning. Uh, this is my first time caller. Welcome uh, to the show. I'm very, very happy to uh, watch the view of your program. Uh, yeah. um, I'd like to make a contribution towards your uh, current um, topic, especially on the issue of um, uh, infection and marriages. And the key thing I just want to I want to look at it from a different perspective, and that is to say that the the uh, um, invitation of or the uh, importation of culture, which is this one man, one wife thing. I'm not saying that it is wrong. I'm not saying this. The our parents when we were growing up, I mean, I'm a product of a polygamous home, and our parents actually actually stayed at home because that was it. But this idea of this one man, one wife thing has created uh, this kind of facade that people live in. Oh, I'm a man, a man with one wife, but ten uh, concubines. And therefore, before we know it, men are jumping from women to women, and women are jumping from men to men. And there are all these people coming now, and we live in this kind of cocoon, and that created the impression that things are just working. Unfortunately, this is also spreading this disease and is creating a terrible infection uh, uh, culture amongst our people. And this is one of the areas that we need to watch out for. Where is our culture in this part of uh, this discussion? Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Ba. Do you agree with Dr. Banima? Do you agree that it is this one man, one wife syndrome that is leading to more cases of maybe infection being reported in marriage? You know, that was what Ramat was trying to say. You know, in the and a polygamous marriage, you have the special have the, breeds of women. You can have the yeah. fat, the slim. Yes. You can but have that, different shapes that and only sizes. satisfies the man. man. Yeah. So, we're a woman. We don't talk about women's sexual urges enough. Yeah. Mm. We don't talk about women's emotional health as regards polygamy and how they're mm -hmm. treated. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to just accept it, whether it works for you or not. not. not yeah. You know, and how this can affect... You, you know, when the psychiatrists come and I don't have the, the correct... Uh, confirm statistics, but they say that you know the cases that are in the mental health institutions more are women and they are dealing with female family issues and emotional issues. You're right. And we don't discuss that enough. We we shy away from them. So culture doesn't bother about your emotional health. Culture doesn't bother about sex, certain sexual privileges. Mm. You're not supposed to needs. You're not supposed to even have. We wait to consign you. We consign certain things. Your, your own is to born children. Born children no. You know so. If you, are, if you can't born, you're not a woman. And so women will also run mental, dealing with, dealing with how, do I, how am I a woman? Because you know, I've not been have, mm. able to have children. And nobody worries about that. Your use is for birthing children, raising them, and you know, being available for the sexual pleasures of men. That's what our culture talks about. But religion, for Islam at least that I know, caters to this. You know, you are allowed this privilege, you are allowed this conversation. If it is not something your mental health can deal with. You're not allowed to stay in the, in the polygamy. Mm. Women can actually put prenuptials. In the Arab world, in the Islamic countries, you put prenuptials that I will be an only wife mm. and you will be strictly um, faithful, faithful to, to me. me. Mm. It is a ground for divorce if these um, clauses are violated. Yeah. But we don't discuss it here. We shame the women from these conversations. You, you know this to thing. Be in fact, yes, to ask it. Uh -huh. People always say it's a man's world. Mm -hmm. and, and, well, and, yeah, result. and let's stop. Let's not run away from it. It's the men that bring this infection mostly. Yeah, but let's, let's, <laughs> it's the men. No, let's not. But let's let's not let, I, want, I want to say this. For a woman, it's a difficult to, conversation a to have that, oh, I feel I have infection. Infection might not be sexually transmitted yes, alone. Yes. You might have an infection that is not sexually transmitted and you are giving it to your partner. Mm -hmm. How easy is it but to have a conversation case, around? I'm even saying, because you see... No, but uh, in this case... No, it's not all, what she meant sexually transmitted disease. Is, but she said you will share infections. Yes, you share infections. So, infection like mouth sore. Infection like... You, you will share mouth sore. You share cough. But I can choose a cough. Like what... But, <laughs> You will I will, share I will not. Uh, infection because you will not know before it starts, like she explained earlier, yeah. before it starts manifesting in your body. You've been doing your husband. Now. Yes. So you've been... I'm saying that it is a you conversation have to knowing. have with your partner. Mm -hmm. Like me telling my husband, 
How will I tell my husband that, Oga, you are coughing? Don't kiss me now because no, me it is me. contagious. I will have cough. You will not know. I'm saying, how do you say it? How do you tell your husband as because you are coughing? How, how do you, you tell your husband as I, I can't now. kiss you because you no, have no, you I have mouth easy. Sore. You know why I said that one is easy? Because it's Some people cannot have it. No, 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 see? no, no. That one is easy. Some people cannot have it. when you have... No, I'm saying that if, how will you, if, if my husband is coughing, mm. can I tell him not to kiss me because he's coughing? Of course. You can. You, they say that one is easy. You can. But you not go see the STD. You will not see STD. That's the problem. So even some men will not take it. That's what I'm saying. Some women don't know how to say it. Why you know we need to learn either way. You want to kiss me and give me the cough? cough. Exactly. Yeah, you don't even love me. For you to be thinking of bringing your mouth where I do oh, 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 in front of me. No, you don't love me. So true. You will put me first because you love me. So and then we, have to, we have to round off in like a minute. Yeah. Right. And we have discussed that for STD, you might not know. Yeah. The person who might know the STD, that he has STD is a man. Please be kind. If you find yourself that you have, you are treating infection, don't go near your hmm. wife. Right. If you have gone outside, give it. Use give yourself, protection. Use protection. Give yourself like a week or two to be sure. Mm. I had a story. Why are we encouraging I had a story. going outside? No, 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 I had a story. You shouldn't go outside. But <laughs> <laughs> you think you're I listening mean, to him? Go outside. <laughs> what? Stay inside. I had a story. This one, eh? I, I thought you said we're going We didn't name this ceremony two weeks apart. Two weeks apart, full term. As a housewife did name it oh. ceremony. I think it's the same week, Seth. It wasn't two weeks apart. Within it was seven days of each other. That put in my family. And the house <laughs> outside <laughs> woman was, was giving birth. Oh. Gave birth oh. within oh. a week. So that oh, means no. this thing happened full term. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, nothing. This thing happened within. Please give space in between <laughs> what you are doing. So that this. in case an infection comes, comes in, you know, we can. You I think find a way to differentiate and protect your main. Main side. Who is yes. important? Who is the, yes, your primary. The most important. Yeah, protect them. Mm. So use. See these people that are manufacturing condom. They need yeah. customers buy and use. Mm. <laughs> um, I mean, Absa says, God created men, man with more sexual order than women." Who yeah. told you? Yeah. Who, who told, told you? Told you I, I disagree. Women are not. I disagree. Now, I debate provision of how they can handle it with. The excess with poly uh, polygyny. Now we human, they eat, won't eat our cake and still have it. So that all topic for next tomorrow. Wow. Hmm. I don't okay. believe that. You want to I know who have not I disagree. I disagree. I don't believe it, but we do not have the time I to disagree, disagree or agree with yes. the topic. Next hmm. week is coming. After I created that. Maybe your view pigeon tomorrow can take it up. Do it yeah, that's I'm not so. around to have the conversation. Honestly. That's what we can take on the show today. Please <laughs> protect yourself. Please be kind if you're in a relationship. Number one, be faithful. Be responsible. Be, faithful. be responsible. Oh, be partner. kind to your partner. If you are infected, do not spread infection. Spread only love. 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 The only thing we are spreading right now is what? Love. love. That's what we can take. See you tomorrow on Your View Pigeon and next week Monday for me. Bye. Bye.